Francisco, former San Francisco assistant DA Jim Hammer and criminal defense attorney Michael Cardoza. And here with me in Washington, criminal defense attorney Ted Williams and Bernie Grimm. And Bernie, who has now joined the club, is probably having the flu. So I'm going to go to you first, Bernie. Yeah, I'm going to try to keep my distance from Ted, even though it's Valentine's Day and I want to give him a huge hug. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to get into the morality, immorality of that whole thing. I'm, I'm a lawyer. I'm not God or a priest. But the problem is he's saying, well, he plied him with liquor or drugs. He still made the statements, and the fact that I didn't find this statement so immoral as the fact that what he did was he looked at some woman who was obviously suffering and in a very bad medical state, and then got up on the beach and just sort of walked away, which or, I find. Or, or called his friend to dump her body. Yeah, How about I mean, that that's just so troubling. And I don't think you can get around the fact that he said it. It doesn't matter whether he was high or not. So Ted? Let me just be candid. I am terribly angry tonight, and I am not angry at the Court of Appeals down there. There are wonderful people in Aruba, so who you but at? what happened is the police department up there, down there, screwed this investigation up at, in the beginning, and we now know that they have nothing. Sometimes law enforcement officers keep things very close to their vest. They have nothing in this case because if they had something and they could have given this court of appeals something, I think they would have rearrested him. Michael? I gotta tell you, I wanna go just run out of the room screaming on this one. Yoren, you're getting away with something here and that's tragic. On an intellectual level, I certainly understand why the court did this. He will be back someday, a la OJ. Despite the fact he may have no conscience about this at all, in other words, he's a sociopath, it's going to eat at, eat at him unconsciously. And believe me, he will be back. I don't think this crime will ever be solved now. You know, what yeah. happened? The one thing that really sticks in my mind, though, is Joran said one thing. If they ever find that body, I'm in deep, deep trouble. Why, Joran? Jim? Because you knew there was something about that body. You did it, you know you did, but you're getting away with it, unfortunately. Jim, um, you know, in looking at this, it's hard not to think that the prosecutor did something really stupid by seeking to arrest him, because if you listen to the tape and you look at the law, you understand why the court said there wasn't the authority to arrest him. I mean, it's a no-brainer. So what the prosecutor did is tipped off his hand, tipped his hand that he's going to investigate this. He would have been better off just simply investigating it and doing this. It's like, it's like they take dumb pills. Yeah, maybe it's something in the water <laughs> down there because the police seem to drink it as well down in Aruba. You know, it's, I, 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 I'm, I'm sort of speechless except to say that, that what we haven't talked about is the devastation that this prosecutor in part has caused by this fumble again on, on Natalie's family. And beyond everything else he did about bragging about dumping her in the bay, he called a dead young woman a whore. I mean, those words will, will ring in their, in their minds, in their, in their memory, until they die. This, this dead girl, we don't know exactly what happened to her, has been marked as a whore and a, 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 the B word and all the rest of it. That guy doesn't have pangs of conscience, Greta. But now that the prosecutor did what you said, that is, he, he tipped his hand, this case, I'm gonna, I predicted last night, he wouldn't get rearrested, I'll predict now, I think he's going to go free for this crime forever. Well, but there's but there's never there's never any chance to like to go out and corroborate the t the tape if you put your but, suspect but Brett, on notice on that, that you're quick, going to do that. On the corroboration, real quick, the two hearts of that claim are she died accidentally and describing how it happened, and I helped dump her at sea. I don't believe you could ever corroborate that except for the Dory part, but he could have been lying about the part. So we will never know, I believe, if his story is no true or but, false. But, 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 you know, right but you have no I chance to if you, if you tip off, you tip your hand off. I, I think uh, corroborating how she died on the beach is impossible because even if we find the body, it won't be the no, case. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you it's not impossible. is because if he's talking on this tape, he's talking someplace else. Right, Bernie? That's, I mean, that yeah, was, I mean, the thing is, uh, and what Greta said a couple moments ago, I think if he's starting to make these statements, you just lie in the weeds and, and perpetuate it and let him keep making statements over the course of right. six now or seven now months. Right, but right. Now, right. now he's, now he's going to happen. The, I don't think there are ever going to be charges in this case. I believe, though, this, that you're running Van der Sloot is branded for life by virtue so? of the manner in which he came but, I mean, out that and he'll be that, haunted that's by not gonna make, That doesn't bring justice for the situation. No, it if, doesn't. If, if he's, he's the killer. probably. 
if, if he's the killer, she, the prosecutor should have been lying low and wait for him to say it to somebody else and built the case that way instead of doing this stupid act of trying to get him arrested. When Absolutely. you look at the transcript and you look at the law, it was, you know, it was clear that the, I mean, it's pretty obvious. You're absolutely, Shredder, you're absolutely right. They should have laid low and have been quiet about this, but then you're going to get into the legal issue of if they did that, would someone like this then be a police agent because you're condoning something like this? I know, but you then you get into, <coughs> but, but you're right. He, he's they should have just shut up. He, they would have had they would have had a better chance of convicting this kid. Believe me, I, a guy like this, this guy would have been talking. This he guy would have been talking. He certainly talk. would have, but right. it's over. Panel, I agree. Panel, thank you. Coming up, a disabled satellite.